Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 e Tech, and in today's video, let's unbox the 13.3 inch variant of the Mi Notebook Air. So let's get on to it. So here's the box that it comes in. It says i5 right on the box. The 5 is mirrored, weird. So anyway, let's take the notebook out of, out of the cover and remove the plastic wrapping too. Just like the 12.5, a clean top, no branding. Let's remove the sticker with Nvidia, Dolby, Windows, and AKG branding. If you notice, the bottom similar to the 12.5 with stereo AKG speakers and the five rubber pads. The speaker is supposed to be louder. We also have vents here since the i5 underneath, unlike the Core M3 on the 12.5 needs fans. As with the 12.5, the screws here are removable and inside you can swap the SSD or add another PCIe SSD. Always nice to see room for expansion. Coming back, we've got a quick start guide, all in Chinese of course, and a Type-C charger. That's it, minimalistic. Let's now take a closer look at the placements. To the front, we've got the same recession as with the 12.5, helps easily open the notebook. To the left, we've got a full-sized HDMI port, a USB 3.0 port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Note that the 12.5 inch variant did not have a 3.0 port here. The right, similar to the 12.5 variant, with another USB 3.0 port, a Type-C port where the charger plugs in, and a notification LED for when the charger is plugged in. This Type-C port also supports HDMI out and USB in via connectors. Opening up the notebook, we've got a 13.3 inch Full HD IPS LCD display. Up top, there's a 1 megapixel camera and a couple of microphones. The display is fully laminated, so a tad reflective. The bezels are thin and the Full HD resolution means the display is decently crisp. The colors seem vibrant. The viewing angles appear stellar too. I'm impressed with the display here. There's a plastic lip surrounding the display that helps avoid the keys touching the display when closed. The keyboard itself is kinda recessed and I like how large the trackpad is. The keys here are backlit. There are some shortcut keys and both the power and caps lock key have notification lights for when they are on. Given that I like the keyboard on the 12.5, this is more spacious, so I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with it. In the form of branding, we've got the Mi branding below the display and a little Core i5 inside sticker. Overall, the build seems good, the full-sized keyboard and the multi-touch glass trackpad seem solid. This notebook doesn't feel fragile, no flex thing. It feels a little heavier than the 12.5 at almost 1.3 kgs, and it's also thicker at 14.8 millimeters. That's understandable given the improved internals inside. It's still quite compact for its segment. So here's a quick rundown of set internals. We've got a 6th generation Core i5 here with the cores clocked up to 2.7 GHz, a dedicated NVIDIA GT 940MX handles GPU duties, and there's 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of onboard PCI Express SSD storage. There's support for dual band 82.11 AC Wi-Fi, and all this is powered by a 40 watt battery. The 13.3 inch variant of the Mi Notebook Air is priced at 49.99 RMB. That's about $750 or 50,000 rupees, and is currently on sale only in China. Do note that if you are importing it like I did, there are third-party seller margins with it, and prices do end up being higher. That's before even factoring in shipping and customs charges. And also note the Mi Notebook Air that's currently being sold ships with the Chinese version of Windows 10. One of the most common comments I got on the 12.5 inch variants unboxing is why couldn't I just add an Eng English language pack to it? Windows 10 here on the Mi Notebook Air has a single language license, so you cannot switch to English. You will have to buy a new Windows 10 license or use it with a Linux distro. So anyway guys, I'll go ahead put English Windows 10 on it soon and then continue testing it out before coming out of the full review. So make sure you stay subscribed for that. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, vote it down if you didn't. And for more videos like this, including the full review, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4D Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.